Hi guys, um, just a quick update on some things I've done in the van. Um, excuse the barrel distortion, I've put a little, little wide angle adapter on, otherwise with my phone it's quite hard to show, but the kitchen area has changed slightly. I've um, got a little electronic thermometer there now next to the um, uh, electronic thermometer next to the carbon monoxide detector. Kitchen roll has been moved up. On the ceiling there's LED strip lights. Um, and it's struggling to focus. I've moved the fire extinguisher above the door. And um, installed a TV. I was given that. Um, 15 inch telly. Draws about 30 watts. Not sure if I will use it much, but give it a go. I've um, got a little powered aerial for it, which I've plonked over here. Can come on and off, and um, obviously depends where you are. The, where I'm currently, um, at my parents' house, um, there's not much of a uh, signal here, but down in Dover, there's a pretty good signal, and uh, gets most of the normal free view channels um, put this little spice rack thing on here it only holds four pots but that's really all I need um, salt pepper garlic salt some oil and I bought some of these little uh, rubber sticky mats they uh, don't leave any residue they stick quite well they're designed for the dashboard to keep your phone on but it'll keep that nice and solid um, I've got the normal mat underneath the couple of these mats from the kettle but they're heat resistant um, other little things I had a leak in the sink that's because I was playing around with the hoses and it's so cold that the hoses are quite um, are quite rigid at the moment not very flexible so I've had made some changes down here um, I've actually fitted a shelf taken away the huge five gallon water tank I've just got the 10 litre one there now and I'm going to change that black, which is very hard to see in the darkness. The black waste tank, which is 23 litres. I would just get another 10 litre one to match the uh, the in water, and then it'll fit a little bit more foot room down there. My um, heaters down there, I follow that on another. Shelf's not quite finished. That wooden strip across the front needs to be stained, and uh, it's actually just kept in by friction at the moment and uh, one of my little stoves is stored under there um, down to the end I've, uh, I'm in the way of my own light here um, changed things around on the end slightly and um, the little Ikea thing's still there and what goes in it will chop and change but I've let me come around a little bit to get a better angle so I've installed a little four gang on the wall, it comes off my inverter. It's one with individual switches, it's not plugged in at the inverter at the moment. And this little tray is just to, to catch all the cables and if I've got my phone in there or my camera battery charging. Um, so a bit of a change around based on some of the part time use in the van so far before I go off um, in the next week or so. Um, could be slightly earlier than I was planning. Um, this side of the van, all the bits I've been working with today, um, is still as before. I've got another um, LED strip up there. They're not wired up at the moment, but I'll just turn them on in a second. Uh, they're, well, they're wired up, but not connected up to the battery. I'm still waiting for some dimmer switches to come through from, uh, not very straight there, look. Um, Still waiting for some dimmer switches to come through from um, China, which only cost a couple of pounds each and a while limit of the circuits. Right, that's about it for the changes. I've got another one of those nets to go up. I'm not going to put it down there. I'm actually going to put it above it. I've taken my fire blanket and I've moved that. Um, and I'm going to leave that bit of wall free there as my little, uh, put a few cushions up the wall and use that as my little leaning post when I'm watching either TV but more likely to have my laptop with a, a film playing on the laptop on this surface here, right here, um, or using my phone. So anyway, that's just a quick update. 
Um, I'll try and do another view of my van, better, much better view. Once there's some daylight, thank God we've had the um, shortest day of the year yesterday. So uh, <laughs> the days are getting longer, so it won't be dark at quarter four like it has been. And that is now, um, which is a uh, very horrible time of year. I love the sunshine. Um, oh yeah, just another little thing I've done at the back is um, I've added, uh, for the curtains, I've added elasticated rail. It's struggling to focus in this dark, but there's a, a rail that runs across. Okay, the other thing I've done is at the back, I've put a bungee cord across to hold the curtain behind it so that it's um, otherwise it would just fall straight down vertically and um, take up about six inches off the end of the bed. So uh, I've literally just uh, put clips on each end and down there it can come off and also up here I've put some studs in so that it just holds the curtain. There's not really much of a light leak there the um, when the limo glass on the back only when lights are on inside can you see in so having the black curtain up just nullifies that obviously there's another stud up that side just behind the little um, aerial that comes off quite simply um, but uh, he says quite simply it's a bit stiff but that comes off to go back in place well as you can see the LEDs are light up that's obviously um, not something the camera can handle particularly well um, but that's with them on and the normal LED light is off ok that's about it for this video um, hopefully there will be another one in a couple of days cheers guys